This is the third video in the series on mobile performance engineering, uncovering how to execute mobile performance tests using the Shunra Mobile Test Framework. This video builds on the topics and concepts covered in the introduction video in the series, and it is recommended that you see this video first. It also follows on from the video for topic 1, Discovering Real Mobile Conditions. You can find links to the other videos in this sequence in the channel where this video is hosted. When looking at the mobile testing process, there are two primary options for executing the tests. The first is to test using an emulator running on a test workstation. Note that this also covers testing mobile web in a browser. The second option is to execute the tests on an actual mobile device, such as a smartphone or tablet. The advantage of this type of testing is that it verifies the real user experience on the actual device. Whether testing using an emulator or on device, there are fundamentally only two ways that the tests can be executed. These are namely manual execution or using automation. Both for emulator or on device testing, manual execution means clicking on the interface to exercise the required functionality. For mobile emulators, there are many automation solutions which can be used to script user interactions, including HP Unified Functional Test, formerly QTP, Selenium, IBM Rational Tester, Silk Test, and many more. When automating tests on actual mobile devices, there are, however, a smaller number of solutions which record and playback user interactions, including touching the screen, pressing buttons, and so on. Some of the leading suppliers of these solutions are shown here. The critical point to note is that this testing, whether manual or automated, using an emulator or on device, is typically focused on functionality, not on performance. These tests also cannot replicate the real mobile network conditions encountered by users. So the question is, how can we extend mobile functional testing to verify the real end user experience? When using an emulator or browser, the solution is to install the Shunra VCAT client on the test workstation. VCAT can then replay all mobile network conditions, including samples from the Shunra Network Capture Global Database, or recordings captured using the Shunra Network Capture Express app running on mobile devices. The VCAT network emulation encapsulates all aspects of mobile connectivity, including latency, packet loss, jitter, and bandwidth, optionally replaying dynamic recordings. For on-device testing, we can connect the test handset or tablet to a workstation using Wi-Fi, and then use Shunra VCAT to replay the mobile network conditions between the device and the rest of the network. Note that other options are available, including a dedicated Shunra hardware appliance to support multiple concurrent mobile test activities. With Shunra VCAT replaying the real mobile network conditions, applications can then be tested by executing each step in sequence in the standard way, either manually or using automation as described previously. Using VCAT, you can also optionally record the steps as they are performed, marking the start and end times. This step timing can be done manually in VCAT, or can be integrated into the automation tools used. Sometimes, network conditions can change the functional behavior of an app or website, meaning that the users cannot continue. This raises the question whether functional testing performed without realistic mobile network conditions is valid at all. Network virtualization should be used for all types of mobile testing. After the test is complete, VCAT reports the transaction performance across the journey as shown here. Repeating tests using different network conditions creates a performance profile. Here we have selected typical 3G networks in London and Hong Kong compared against the baseline marked as LAN. This identifies specific steps which will suffer severe slowdowns or verifies acceptable performance. Some steps, steps will be especially impacted by mobile network conditions, in this case taking up to 43 seconds in Hong Kong for the login step. And although, although it is critical to know this before deployment, 
It is also important to be able to determine the causes of slowdowns and provide recommendations for improvement. Chandra VCAT supports detailed mobile performance analysis without the need to repeat tests. This will be covered in the next video in the sequence. The Chandra Mobile Performance Engineering Framework can drill into the performance of all the steps in the user journey, but can also optionally store traffic data flowing from the device to the network, providing summary information per step as shown here. This step took 33 seconds, and we can immediately see that it downloaded 391 kilobytes of data, which is the likely reason for slow performance. You can discover more about Chandra Mobile Performance Analysis in the next video in this sequence. So we've shown how Shunra can allow you to capture, measure and assess the actual mobile conditions of your end users in Topic 1. In this video we showed how Shunra can recreate these mobile conditions in your test environments, including supporting on-device testing or mobile emulators, and produce detailed performance data. Watch this video channel for the next videos in the sequence covering how to analyse communication between mobile apps and servers, prioritize the slowest steps, and generate automated optimization recommendations to improve the mobile performance. The final video will cover how to perform capacity and load testing of mobile platforms, including the actual end user experience. You can find links to the other videos in this sequence in the channel where this video is hosted, or browse to the mobile zone at the Shunra website.